Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to do a bit of uh, science. Now I got this stainless steel uh, plunge uh, baking plate. Uh, I got it uh, as a gift. Uh, something where, as you can see, it's rusted. Now you're telling me stainless steel. Yes, stainless steel do rust. It's stainless. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can get rid of it. I think what happened is somewhere along the line this plate got in contact with some... Uh, now I must think. Chlorides. Chlorides chows off the, uh, it eats off the, what's well, it, chrome oxide in the stainless steel and then it exposes the metal in the iron inside. So that's why it can rust. Um, normally the chrome reacts very quickly with the air around it, oxidizing, and then you get a little chrome oxide layer on the stainless steel and that's what prevents it from rusting. So uh, let's see if we can use some household goods and get rid of this thing. Now what we've got here is imitation vinegar, uh, exotic spices makes it in South Africa. 5% uh, acetic acid. Uh, let's see if this works. Okay, so uh, I just washed it out with a bit of water. Uh, not that that's going to make any difference. Uh, we can chuck out what we've got, a couple of drops. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to drop in undiluted this uh, imitation vinegar and uh, there we go. I think I need to maybe put something underneath just to get it square concrete paving isn't square right then I'm gonna just throw some rags in there just to make sure we keep everything wet and saturated and in contact now this should I'll take you back to the um, to the office and uh, we'll work it from there once we figure out what's happening here. I'm going to leave this overnight and uh, come back in the morning. Now the acetic acid should react with the iron and uh, we'll see if it works. These are clean rags, I buy them by the bale. There we go. Oh. Just going to wash this off quickly. Nice thing about these caterpillar foams, you can uh, wash them off underneath the running water. Just going to chuck some a little bit more in there. Well, and let's come back in the morning. Okay, so what happens is on stainless steel it's got a high chrome content. So the chrome in the stainless steel itself will react with the oxygen in the surface and actually create a very very thin, it's like molecules thin uh, chrome oxide layer uh, on top of the stainless steel and that in essence seals it off and prevents it from uh, corroding any further. The nice thing about this is if you scratch the surface off uh, it just reacts with that portion again and self heals. So and that is why the stainless steel does not um, corrode as much as normal carbon steel. There is however, depending on the grade, um, there is however impurities in iron in the in the stainless steel itself. So in essence if you've got the wrong grade of stainless, uh, it will definitely rust because some of those impurities in iron pockets sit right there at the corner and then that will start oxidizing as well. Now, what happens with low grade stainless like your three or four grades and, and so forth, uh, the corrosive nature of chlorides like in seawater, uh, it attacks the, that surface film and then you can actually get that rust forming. So if you've got the wrong uh, type of, well the wrong grade of stainless steel then you will definitely get a rust in a marine environment as we've been seeing on that plate that we are trying to fix up now. So let's see if we can do some uh, chemistry on it. I, I haven't done this in, in ages and ages and ages so bear with me and give me flack in the comments below. 
Okay, so rust as we know it is actually uh, iron oxide or ferric oxide, which is Fe, no, I must remember 2O3. So it's iron, two molecules, iron, three oxide, uh, oxygen. So, and uh, it's a It's a couple of reactions to get to that uh, uh, final number, but the uh, the actual formula can be written as if you've got the iron plus the oxygen plus you need some water. If, if there's no water in it, then uh, it's not going to work. That's why stuff rusts less in the desert. Uh, and that will equal F E O H three, which means we will have to no, must make sure that I've got this right. And we need three over there and six H's over there, and that will be in four F E O H three. That that's that's the the simple formula for it. Now that we've got rust, now we need to get rid of it, and we can get rid of it by dissolving it in the acetic acid. Okay, so now that we've got the vinegar, which is acetic acid, and the uh, formula for the formula for acetic acid is CH three COO H, something like that. Uh, that and then plus H2O and then that reacts with uh, iron oxide to give you a salt that is, I think it's an acetate, I'm not sure, comes down to Fe, uh, now I must remember CH3COO. 3 plus H2O. Now, and that is a, uh, what do you call it? Um, neutralization and reaction. Uh, I bet I am not 100% right here. Uh, I did go and look up a little bit of it because I couldn't remember it off of hand. I'm not a chemist, but that's in, in essence what you'll have. So you'll get that. Uh, acetate coming loose and then and, and some more and that will then uh, take off the rust from the stainless steel so the chemistry shows that you can actually take rust off of stainless steel with vinegar uh, well actually off of any metal for that matter as long as it's got iron in it uh, it'll work so uh, I'm gonna call it here and let's get back to it tomorrow and see if it really did work Okay, so it's been about 24 hours. Um, let's see what's happening underneath here. As you can see, it still looks like the rust is setting, but it's actually coming off. Now, you'll see the, there's some, let's see if we can wipe it off. It does leave some, some putting, but, uh, the nature of the beast i think that's about that's about as good as we're gonna get i'm gonna leave this for another 24 hours uh, per fact the uh, plain fact that i have not got time to do this whole thing right now so uh, let's come back in another 24 well, let's call it maybe tomorrow afternoon a bit earlier and uh, let's see what happens from there gentlemen so today's tomorrow uh, we've had a bit of um, evaporation on it as you can see here the rust is completely, I won't say dissolved, but it comes completely off. Here's some pitting showing, I'll get you in closer. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe whatever we have here. Uh, and see what we can go to. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, much, much better than it was. Uh, there is still some, there is still some rust sticking to the uh, plate. As you can see, there's some serious pitting. That's why I think there was some uh, chlorides involved. So now that we've got the whole thing, we need to neutralize whatever acid is still on here before we take it from there. So I've got some, 
bicarbonate of soda. I'm just gonna chuck it on there and give it some water and that'll neutralize the acid and once that is neutralized then we can take it from there so there we go uh, can we remove the rust from stainless steel with using vinegar? Yes, we can. Uh, this was a fun little project. We'll see how long it lasts. It might still be rusting a bit. I'll see and it'll need some treatment or every so often or something. Don't know what's been in contact with it, but it looks like it was fairly corrosive. There is some pitting still, but that we're not going to get rid of because there the metal is just gone. And, uh, with that, I'm going to call it and say thank you very much for watching. If you've made it thus far, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, as always, stay safe.